Alright, that's good. Alright, welcome back. Leg day today. Sort of a normal one today. My groin is a lot better. But again, that shortened position, I, I don't know why. It's just not messing with me. Still working on it, trying to get it better. But we're starting off with leg press today. Getting warmed up. Taking four sets today. Gonna push. And again, it's weird. I don't feel my groin at all when I do it. Even though I'm pressing against a certain amount of weight. But um, yeah, four sets. And the last set is gonna be a drop set. Where I just take off some weight and just pump out and really try to get my quads to burn. Probably said this plenty of times, but my focus when doing leg press is to get my knees as close to my chest as much as possible, get as much quad work done. Obviously, without causing damage. But I really like this leg press machine, it's really humbling. I've got 240 kilos on right now, and every single rep feels like my leg's about a bus. extensions three out of four sets done um, I've switched up my technique a little bit turning up the intensity on it so that when I get to the top that I hold it a bit more and squeeze as much as I can before letting it down slowly compared to what I usually do I'm supersetting it with the adductor machine here in front of me to work the groin a bit more I really got to try and get it to be better so just doing everything I can to get it to heal quicker and make things as pain free as possible and just to recover in time so that when I start to lift heavy again that everything's okay and I'm at 100%. All finished up with the quad portion of the workout. Moving on the hamstrings. First up is RDLs with the um, First up is RDLs with the barbell. Three sets, three hard ones. And then to finish off, I'll do lying leg curls. Do some calves, of course. Didn't do, I didn't do them at the beginning today. So let's do them at the end, get that over with. And that should be the whole workout. All finished up with RDLs. Three really good sets. I'm really starting to get the hang of the technique, trying to load up my legs at the bottom, really avoid using my lower back to get the weight up so it doesn't resemble a deadlift too much. Getting a lot better at it, and that's good. Towards the fall or towards my next semester cycle, I'm gonna be doing it a lot heavier, using a belt as well to protect myself and to just help me lift more 
use straps as well to help me with my grip because that was somewhat heavy. The thing about RDLs is that you don't want to ego lift when doing it at all. You want to do a certain amount of weight that's comfortable. Maybe a little bit uncomfortable to push yourself, but you don't want to ego lift with that at all. Because that's just an injury waiting to happen. Oh yeah, that was it for RDLs. We're on to the last movement of the day. Line leg curls. finished up with leg curls. I had three really hard sets. I actually recorded up there, but I was sitting right next to a speaker and I wasn't speaking loud enough to record. And <laughs> truth, truthfully, I'm not trying to be yelling at the camera to, just to record. I can go somewhere a bit more quiet. But while I was up there, I was saying that I really like that leg curl machine because it has a lot of friction on it. It reminds me of a, of a Smith machine almost. The amount of friction on it is actually pretty insane because when I put a certain amount of weight that I usually do, I'm only getting off about, let's say if I do 15 reps usually on other leg curl machines, I'm only getting off 10 because there's that much friction. And as y'all know, I like, to, I like to slow down the movement on the way down, a bit of a negative and get as much stretch as possible before I get back up on the movement. And that amount of friction on it, like I said, it's insane and it makes everything 10 times more difficult and I love it. So that machine is definitely going to be a staple during the mesocycle, that's for sure. Getting some calf raises done right now, it's the last exercise of the day. I'm not going to record it, it's not something I need to necessarily record. I'm lying. This machine I'm going to talk about later because it's actually pretty cool. I've never tried a calf raise machine or a machine that works on my calf like this one before it's pretty different pretty different and it gets a lot of work done it's really efficient that's the word i'm looking for it's a really efficient machine anyway that was leg day for today two calf two quad exercises two hamstring exercises and some calf raises no cardio um, afterwards i had a pretty long walk this morning um, and I'm gonna be walking back home, so don't need to do any cardio. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in next week's workout.